I don't think this was an easy decision, Jerry. Matt Canada was one of the finalists. You have to imagine he was given a look. Pep Hamilton from Michigan was rumored to be the other finalist. Ultimately, I think Maryland went with a higher that they were very comfortable with. Yeah, no doubt. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if Matt became part of Mike Loxley's staff. But as you mentioned, Rick, Mike has been in the Big Ten. He's recruited that area in Maryland. He's from that area. He's a spread guy. He's probably one of the best spread guys there is in the country. He had a tough time at New Mexico. You know, I've had, I've had an opportunity to do some search work for athletic directors. And when you interview a coach from Alabama, they say, like, any, like working for any great coach, it's like a clinic every day. Right. So this is a different Mike Loxley, I believe, because of his experience at Alabama. Yeah, he's, he's smarter than I thought. I saw him sitting in the press box. How about that? Sit up there, stay as far away from Nick Saban <laughs> as you can. Think about that, right? Lane Kiffin, as those guys. Lane Kiffin on oh, the sideline. Side right. Right. And screamed at <laughs> the whole game. That's smart. You know, that's a, that's a the check in his box right there to yeah, start off. The, the second guy in charge of the offense isn't all that happy. <laughs> no, oh, no, no. He's, he took the blunt of it, no question. But you mentioned Matt Canada. I got to say this, and I got to know Matt when he was at Pitt. I mean, you know, hopefully he stays there because we know a good coach. He worked for you, Jerry. But to keep that team together, I mean, they had a chance to, they went for two to beat Ohio State, think about it, you know what I mean? So that staff did a great job, and, and Mike Loxley, I, I was trying to look it up, I think it was 10 years he coached at Maryland as, as an OC, as an assistant mm -hmm. coach, so as far as being familiar, as you said, Rick, with the administration, with the recruiting, with the community, I mean, and they had a long time to decide. I mean, you talk about a long process. They, Who knows how long ago they decided, okay, you know, with with uh, uh, DJ Durkin, that we're gonna need a new coach. So they've had a lot of time to go through resumes and think of the pros and cons, so they're pretty confident. And to have a chance in the East, obviously you have to have some players, and DJ Durkin was knocking it dead in recruiting. They have players. They, was, yep. DJ was killing it in recruiting, and there's no reason Mike Loxley won't kill it. You don't drop 51 on Ohio State without having talent, and Maryland has loads of talent. They do run that style. It's interesting now, back to Edsel, an offensive guy, and then you go DJ Durkin all the way, a defensive guy, Matt Canada as the interim, an offensive coordinator, and now back to Loxley as an offensive guy. It'd be very interesting to see what kind of defensive philosophy they run as he goes to fill out his staff in College Park.